What is up guys, in the game of Retro here, and welcome to another Let's Play series. Let me go ahead and... Can I fit... Yes. Alrighty. And welcome to the Room 4, Old Sins, for the PC. Brought to you by Fireproof Studios. I guess they must have rebranded, because I could swear they went by Fireproof Games. But you know what, whatever. Uh, this is the fourth installment to the Room series. Um, taking place after the room three and i'm not sure when like in the room uh vr it happens i like i don't know the timeline for that so i'm not too sure and the only thing i really know about this one is a couple go missing and uh, the investigation leads them to like this creepy dollhouse or something in their attic or something i don't freaking know it's it's weird Normally I read the thing beforehand, and I just I forgot to do it this time. I've searched every room in the house, but this attic. I won't get much further in the dark. Click and drag the screen to look around. Let there be light. Click. God damn it. Click. Nope. I think it's broken. I need the screwdriver for my case. Eh. My notebook holds all the information I was given for this assignment. London 1899. Okay, so I think this happens before the room VR, because I think that one's like 19 freaking like 08 or something. I don't remember. I have to go back and look at it. Mystery disappearance. Husband and wife missing. Marriage beset by scandal. Ooh. That's not good. Screwdriver. <clears throat> Notorious engineer dismissed from the Royal Institute. Mr. Edward Lockwood provokes fury of the Royal Institute. A name Edward Lockwood, age 32, height <coughs> 176 centimeters. I don't remember my conversion rate from centimeters to inches. Trained as a mechanical engineer, dabbled in chemistry. Marriage to Abigail Waldgrave, or Waldegrave, I'm not sure. Race status. Led to assistant position at the Royal Institute. Position lasted one year. Dismissal occurred due to unspecified misconduct. Ooh, someone's being naughty. Deceased pioneer bequeaths estate <coughs> to only daughter. Renowned artist Mrs. Abigail Lockwood inherits troubled Waldegrave Manor. Burdened with debt. A poison chalice. Ooh. That's not good. Spouse profile, Mrs. Abigail Lockwood, a Waldegrave, age 28, height 162 centimeters. Classically trained artist known for funding exhibitions. Only child of the esteemed Hugo Waldegrave. Marriage to Edward was controversial. On her father's death, Abigail inherited Waldegrave Manor and family's substantial debt. Oof. Oh! Oh, hey, that's a body. Is that a body? Looks like a body. Wait, what was that? I need a better look. Cause no, I don't want to look at the thing. I want to look at the what looks like a body. Or maybe not. Okay, drag the screwdriver to do the screw. Or whatever you just said. Eh. Complete the circuit. Yep. Oh, it's gone, you bastard. But I got tentacles, that's... Close enough, I guess? A dollhouse? Something isn't right. Double click. Investigate the dollhouse. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Nope, this way. Yeah. 
surface looks unusual. I'll need something else for my case. Okie dokie. Everyone has secrets. Mine just have to be hidden in this box. Okay, you came cockeyed at this angle. Eh. God damn it. Eh. An eyepiece. I need to open this to be of any use. Oh, that's cool. Click to wear the eyepiece. Oh, that's very bright. Break the seal, find the null. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. Ooh. So use the eyepiece to examine the dollhouse. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Ooh. That's a very creepy hallway. Okay, I guess I have to, like, line shit up. Yes. At least your weird-ass hallway. Click the symbol to enter the room. The foyer. Oh, look at the weird ass book. Etiquette for Husbands and Wives by Anthony B. Cartwright. Eh. Oh, it's locked. They are unloading apparatus by the cartload, and I see my husband transform into a wide-eyed child. He hasn't been this animated since he left the Royal Institute. The men work in silence and stand awkwardly in my presence. Heads down. Silent. They will not hold my gaze. They look so desperate. I move aside. Stay out of their way. Why are certain men... Wait. <clears throat> why are certain men so threatened by women of intelligence? They will warm to me as they come to know me, I am sure. The main thing is that Edward is working again. Okay. Seems the books in this dollhouse hold more than their cover suggests. I suspect that will be key to uncovering what happened here. Okay, looks like something goes there. I have no idea. Okay, it looks like the same thing on the other side. And same thing. A brass mechanical coin. I don't know which one it goes in. Nope. Almost fits. Something isn't right. Okay, take a look. Okay, I see. That line of the things. Okay. Family crest. 
Looks like it <coughs> looks like it belongs in the dollhouse. Like on as in like Oh. Durr. I would expect such a prominent part of the house to be more decorative. And it shall be. The seal. The gnomes lie beyond. Nothing. It's making a noise when I touch it. Like a thumping. Oh, okay, I hold it down. Like it does something when I touch it. side of that thing. Yeah. Okay, it's so a locking thing in the middle. Okay, so... You like that? Artifact. I've seen those before, and I've also seen that before. A whole lot of tentaclage going on. And that floor just done got messed up. Okay, fire complete. I have found the seal my employer spoke of. It is weakened, but far from broken. I am clearly on the path to finding the null element. Alrighty, guys, there we have it for, I guess, chapter one, which is like the, I guess, tutorial episode, or foyer, or whatever, foyer, if you want to call it that, if you want to get super fancy with it. 
So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. When I come back, I guess I'll start Chapter 2, wherever that takes me. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and or subscribe. If you like what you saw, you can if you want to. If not, that's fine too. Uh, don't forget to hit that bell icon to receive notifications on when I drop a new video. Or to keep you guys in the loop with what's going on with my channel and whatnot. Uh, this is Indie Gamer Retro, and I'll see you guys next episode.